Oh, coming at you from South Beach Diet. Jones for CrossFit. Shelby Jones. Chris. What's your last name? Muscle well, check. Nomad Performance. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little fun today, guys. <laughs> yeah. All right, no, no, okay. On a serious note, we're going to be talking about um, a popular diet that I, I, I just. Actually, I hadn't even heard of it until like about a week ago. And this girl was like, yeah, I was doing the South Beach diet. I lost so much weight this and that. And I was like, cool, what is it? And she started telling me, and I was like, no! <laughs> Why? <laughs> um, so, hey, Christian, you probably know, yeah, the ins and outs of this thing. Yeah. Like, what the heck is it? Um, you know, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of fad diets out there. There's a lot of diets in general. You've got, you know, Atkins diet, you got your South Beach diet, you got. <sighs> did, I, did Dr. Atkins die? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, From doing one of those diets? Heart attack, maybe? Yeah. Uh, hmm. I don't know, side note. Uh, but what you find with the. It's funny because you, you look at the South Beach and, not to jump ahead, but it, there's some similarities between actually Atkins diet and South Beach diet. But anyway, um, anything that's going to promise you within the first you know, 10, 14 days, to drop 10 pounds, 13 pounds, 15 pounds is usually not a good sign. Um, initially, you want you want slow, consistent losses because you're not going to come back. Um, anytime you have a quick loss and it comes back, it's actually worse for your health. Um, it's great for diabetes. <laughs> it's, it's awesome for diabetes because um, you mess with your insulin levels. And we've talked about that before, um, especially with the South Beach. I mean. It, Kind of, it starts you out. There's different phases. There's three different phases. The one, first one's supposed to drop 10 pounds or whatever really quick, and then you're supposed to reincorporate carbohydrates in your second phase and a bunch of different fibers. And then you get to this third phase, which ultimately tells you that if you start gaining weight again, to jump back to the first. Now, I don't know about you, but that kind of sounds like a yo yo plan yeah. to me. Yeah. This is going to throw your body off big time. The way you want to do it, we've talked about before, is you really want balance. You want something that, say, if you're if you're cutting out, if you're on like say a 3,000 calorie diet or a 2,000 calorie diet, and you're cutting out 500 calories a day, you know, you're reducing your calories but putting in good stuff like fiber. So you're in a deficit at the end of the week. You're going to lose about a pound, two pounds a week. That's going to be a better, safer, healthier way to do it over time. This is all about time. It's about changing how you're eating, not hopping onto something, getting a quick, oh look, I dropped 10, and then going back to eating and actually doing yourself more harm than good. So when you see these different fad ones, like Shelby's talking about, I mean, some of them can, you stay on them long enough and do this yo-yo, it's diabetes, lead to different heart problems, and then other ones are, I mean, even the South Beach diet was designed by a guy who was a cardiologist who, who was on, you know, blood pressure medicine. I mean, like stuff like that it scares you. It scares you because you're like, well, you're saying this, but you're having all these problems. Like, yeah, if you're on a good balanced diet, you should be able to get off all the sh all the shit that you're taking, all the medication for your Absolutely. blood pressure, your freaking cholesterol. Like, you should be able to get away from that and manage it without having to take all this crap that you really don't need. So, eat better, eat smarter, eat real food. It's, it's truly scary. The thing to do is really do your research. If you're coming into the box, please at any point pull us to the side and say, hey, I've heard about this. What do you know about this? As always, we tell you, we want you to do the research on it. Because if you see something that sounds a little too good to be true, chances are it pretty much is going to be. And then you're going to notice it in here too. If you're cutting down on all this stuff and, and you're getting dehydrated on top of it, which is one of the, one of the things that's going to happen with like a South Beach diet, initially you're going to, yeah, I dropped that 10 pounds. Well, yeah, if you cut out the soda and stuff, you're going, to, you're going to drop it and all the water's going to come out. You're going to come in here, you're going to get dehydrated, feel more woozy, not have the power. Remember we talked about hydration before. As much as 1% to 2% hydration, you're, you're, you're losing performance. So big thing, really with these diet plans, do your research on it, come in, ask us questions. We're more than willing to help you out, put you in the right direction, show you a way to actually change your lifestyle instead of hop on something that's gonna yo-yo, you're gonna jump to the next one. Um, that's what we want you to do, is get really good performance. We're mentioning the promise of a certain amount of weight loss um, in, a, in a short period of time. What is healthy standards, healthy, being able to drop what amount of weight? Two pounds a week. Two pounds a week is is good. Is a good safe number. Um, that's one that everybody can work with. That's not going to throw off your system. When you see all these crazy ones, and you have people telling you, oh, "I dropped 20" or "I dropped 15," 
Well, there's there's circumstances where you know if you're if you have you know a couple hundred pounds to lose, yes. then yes, that's acceptable. Yes. But if you have a few to lose and you're dropping that quick, right, that is most likely not healthy for you. Right. So yes, when you're way up above, and you you will notice people have huge drops, but that'd be a good question to ask them as well. Say, hey, where are you coming from to lose all this weight? Well, if they say they're up in the you know the high hundreds. And they came down 15 pounds. Yeah, they've just substantially changed their diet, and their body's reacting to that. Whereas if they're, you know, where they want to be, and they say they want to be 150 pounds, and they drop 10 pounds down to 140 real quick, then you might have some questions to ask. Yeah, that would be a little bit scary. Yeah, hey, I need to drop 10 pounds in a week. I'm going on vacation. I gotta be in a yeah, swimsuit. Yeah, oh, swimsuit. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> we don't want you doing that. We want you to come in. <laughs> Stay steady, get, get good results, because those are the things that are gonna last you for the rest of your life. It's not gonna be something that's quick, gone, and then come back and actually do you more harm. Yep, that's you only got one body, take care of it. Absolutely. Right, guys, thank you for watching. Please tune in our other videos. We're gonna be putting another one out pretty soon. Yeah. About, what are we talking about? Car backloading. Car backloading. Backload. A lot of cars! Backload. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. Check us out at jumpsforcrossfit.com. Thanks, Chris, for, for dropping the knowledge. Nomad Performance, check them out on Facebook. And as always, remember, make every rep count. I need to find a hand for making a rep count. <laughs>